Hi everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 30th episode of our Java programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to trace methods in Java. This and more when we come back. It's very important to you know how to um, execute the code by means of um, manually uh, tracing it. Okay, because um, uh, it only means that you understand the flow of your program. So in this episode, we will try to um, trace um, uh, different programs. Okay, and our first um, program, Java program here, is uh, having a... Um, user defined method which is a value returning method and uh, we will try to appreciate you know the uh, the difference of um, the variables inside of our main method and the variables or the local variable inside of our user defined method okay so we'll we'll start now um when we are going to execute this program of course uh, since we 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 have a two uh, methods here we will start from the main method we will start executing uh, the codes inside of our main method and we will start here um, in line number four so in line number four we have a variable declaration double x y m int r equals two so if you encounter that um, line of code okay all you need to do is that to write the, the the variables okay for example we have y and then m i'm sorry we have m and then you don't know uh, the value of uh, m yet and then we have r which is uh have an initial value of two, okay, and then we have the first output statement system that the print ln inside main. So we will now uh, display or print out the output. So inside main, okay, and then since uh, we we use the print ln there, we know that after we print the uh, print out the inside main, so the insertion pointer cursor now on the ne next line, okay, and then we have another um, assignment statement in line number six x equals five point zero. So this is now the the time to uh, have a value of 5.0 to x and uh, 3 to uh, y okay and then we have a method call in line number seven method call and assignment statement okay so once the uh, um, java in um, encounters this method call we all know based from our previous example uh, previous episode that the program execution stops at main and then we'll go uh, jump into the this uh, code, okay? This is inside of the method A in line number 12, okay? And we will try to pass the X to B and then R to C, okay? So meaning, so there is also a local variables inside of method A and these are B, C, and A, okay? So we have now B, okay? And then the value of B, is uh, the value of x which is 5.0 okay, so we have 5.0 okay and then c is the value of r which is 2 so c equals 2 so these are local variables inside of method a and then we have a um, variable declaration here a so you just have to write a there and then equals okay and then System that out that print ln inside method A. So we will uh, display now since the um, after printing the inside main, the insertion point now is in the uh, second line. So we will um, display or print out inside this text inside method A, okay, on the uh, second line. And then print ln meaning, okay, the insertion point now goes to the second, uh, third line, okay. And then we have an assignment statement, line number 15, A is equal to B times C. A is equal to B times C. Okay, so A is equal to B times C. B times C, 5 times 2 is 10.0. So 10.0. Okay. And then we have an output statement inside of the method A again. And this time we have A is uh, the value of A. The value of A is 10.0. So 10.0. Okay, and then next line again then return a okay once the value of a is returned which is 10 so that would be now the, the value of m since we have an assignment statement here okay so we stop the program execution here and then once the, uh, the value is uh, being returned so the program control now back to main and then we assign the value of a to m so 
the value of a is 10 so the value of m is um, 10.0 okay and then we have a, an uh, output statement inside of main inside main so we will add another output statement here so inside uh, main m is equal to the value current value of m which is 10.0 10.0 okay and then a uh, new line and then we have another assignment statement and method call again to method a and this time we will uh, pass um, the value of y which is 3 to b so uh, the 5 now will be uh, replaced by the current value of y which is 3 and then the c will be replaced to uh, the value of r which is uh, still 2 okay and then also the value of a because um, take note that um, every time we um, go out of this um, method uh, a which is a user defined method okay all the variable uh, that have been um, you know uh, inside of our memory uh, will be um, deleted then every time we uh, go inside of the main method and uh, we have a declaration so that's the only time that we have uh, created again another uh, variable okay so let's continue we have uh, an output statement inside a main method we have um, inside a method a new line and then a is equal to b times c 3 times 2 I take note um we pass the y 3 times 2 is um 6 3 times 2 is 6 okay so we have 6 here okay and then a uh, system that added print ln so we have now another output a is since uh, b uh, b b is double here so take note since b is double so we have a 3.0 so that's why the value of a is 6.0 so a is 6.0 okay and then new line and then return a return a so meaning the value of m now again is um not 10 but a 6 okay so th this time we have now a 6 6.0 6 um, and then we have an output statement inside main now so inside main now m is equal to the value of m current value of m which is 6 6.0 6 to be exact so there you go so we will try to uh, compare this uh, output okay let's try to run this one and then that is the um, output side the uh, our um, answer okay, since we uh, trace this one um, inside main inside main inside method a a is 10 inside main 10 inside method a and then a is 6 inside main now okay that is correct so that's how we um, uh, trace this sample um, program So based on our um, example, we've learned from this um, uh, tracing that um, since we have a main method, we have a local variables inside of main and we have a local variables inside of method A. Whenever we uh, go out of this uh, method, all the variables are being um, deleted and will replace again by a new value once we uh, uh, call again this method. Okay, that's a very important uh, thing. And that's all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.